Hey everyone, it's Mr. Gilbert. Um, let's go ahead and let's talk about what we're doing today. So today for writing, it's Tuesday, and yesterday you should have planned out your writing. Now, together we only planned out one piece of writing. We said it was towards the end of the school year now, and you should be able to plan out uh, your writing on your own uh, like this in a box and bullet plan using the evidence provided. And yesterday we talked about how do animals survive in the Arctic tundra. We focused in on paragraph um, paragraph four, three, 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 four. Um, sorry, I had to restart my computer, so I lost my uh, underline. Paragraph four, there it is. Um, and we talked about how polar bears are strong swimmers. They live near the coast um, for hunting seals. We actually underlined this this yesterday. And we talked about how that is going to help them survive in the winter because it takes so much for them to survive. So you are planning out two of your own pieces of evidence from either the Arctic fox, um, the wolverine, the uh, any of the other animals provided. Today, we're going to start with our topic sentence, which we already have written. So we're going to retype our topic sentence. We're going to do a little bit of framing, and then we're going to plan out our first piece of evidence together. And then you guys are going to finish with your two pieces of evidence, your supporting details, and of course, your con concluding or closing sentence. Let's go ahead and let's just retype our topic sentence. I already have mine written on the, the page. You're going to do yours as well. Pretty hard. Or animals to survive in the Arctic tundra. Arctic is a proper noun; it's a specific place. Um, so make sure you capitalize the Arctic. All right, let's go ahead and let's get right into things. Let's do a little bit of framing. I'm going to go back. Let's actually read paragraph one together. Um, maybe even paragraph two. And let's let's talk about why. Um, it's so hard for these animals to live in the Arctic. In and near the Arctic Circle with the Arctic tundra. Let me move Mr. Quick's face out of there. Uh, Alaska and Canada. The Arctic tundra is a cold, windy place. The winters are long, almost nine months long. In some places, the sun barely comes up. And in December, the temperatures can drop to 90, minus 94 degrees. It's so cold. Uh, sorry. It's, <laughs> it is so cold for so long in the tundra that a thick layer of soil stays frozen all year long. It's called permafrost. Most people, that's why I lost my spot right there. Uh, most people think about snow when they think about the Arctic, but the Arctic tundra gets less than 10 inches of water as rain or snow a year. That's just like a desert. The cold wind and lack of water make the tundra a tough place to live. Not many animals dare to stay there year, all year. Only musk, oxen, Arctic wolves, and polar bears live there in the winter. Okay, so let's talk about what we want to include in here. Um, I like the, this little bit. But the Arctic tundra gets less than 10 inches of rain or snow a year. Let's put something like that in there. Um, how about something about the temperature? Temperatures can drop to 90, minus 94. That we can talk about why animals uh, don't really live there. Um, <coughs> and that's just not like the desert. The cold wind and lack of water make the tundra a, a tough place to live. I like that line. So I'm actually going to start with that and kind of backtrack with some of these other details. So I'm going to say uh, the Arctic is a harsh environment to live to live in. Uh, let's say uh, there is little little rainfall in the Ar in the Arctic Arctic. Let me do a compound sentence here. Um, so let's let's tie it in. Let's tie it back to the prompt. Um, this makes it hard animals to live. Um, because, you know, everything needs water. Life needs water to exist. Uh, animals need water. People need water. Uh, plants need water. So let's, let's add something about, you know, this makes it hard for animals to live there. Then we can tie it back. Um, and then let's say temperatures in the Arctic can drop to, um, Negative, uh, I'm just gonna say negative, let's say minus, minus 90 per degrees. Burr. Maybe even want to include something like that. Or like, that's very cold. Um, so we talked about the lack of rain, we talked about the um, <coughs> the uh, temperature. Let's talk about the wind now. So, finally, comma, uh, the Arctic. 
can be a very, yes, I know I made a spelling error, a very uh, windy environment, making it very difficult to live in. Okay, so now look how many sentences we have. We have our topic sentence one, then we have one, two, and three framing sentences. That's four sentences before you even get into detail number one. You should be framing out your piece. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Like we've been talking about all year. You want to make sure that you have background knowledge, right? So the, the reader knows exactly what you're talking about. Okay, let's go right into number one for us. And then, then we'll finish out what we actually write out together today. So uh, let's start with something like one animal that, oh, animals, one animal that can survive in, ah, I can't type, survive in the Arctic, Arctic is the polar bear. Okay, so we have the polar bear. Um, he can survive in the Arctic, and then let's talk about what the uh, how they survive in the Arctic. Uh, so we said uh, polar bears live near the coast. Uh, they're very good hunters, and they need a lot of food. Okay, so let's say something like polar bears are very, very good, very good hunters. They live near the coast to hunt for their food so they can survive survive in the arctic now again i could go on to, to say what they eat they eat seals i could talk about um how they're very good swimmers there's a lot i could do with this here i'm going to leave it here for today just so that you uh can now put your input into this writing you can tailor it to to your own very uh, very own piece here um, again, we have a bunch of sentences. I would say at this point, you should be, this should be like a 10 to 15 sentence paragraph. Okay. So make sure that you're putting in the effort here, um, with, with those sentences. All right. Well, if you have any questions about polar bears, the Arctic tundra, or of course, predators that live there, please feel free to reach out to your teacher. Uh, that's all we have for today. I will see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday, everyone. Bye.